Today I want to go over back angles on intake valves and why they are so important. Okay, so you can see here we have two valves. They look identical. Same OD and everything, but now when you look at the top here, okay, this is the MBE valve with our two angles and the length of those angles. So all that is important. Here's another valve here. It has some back angle from here to here, not very much. Okay, but I'm going to show you why you can knock on something that makes 1,100 horsepower, you can knock 200 horsepower out of your engine by doing this instead of this. So I think it's always important, even if it's not from us, that you listen to your cylinder head guy that you respect and do what he tells you to do. So order your valves from him. It's only going to cost you an extra $80, okay? Because we want to make sure that you have the proper length of angle, the proper angles, so we can flow enough air. So first we started with the with the valve that's not very good, okay, or a poorly designed, what most people would call a shelf valve because no thought goes into it. So I put the valve in, put the spring on it and everything, and then lift the head up, and you'll see uh, with my wounded wing, um, it's a little bit of a struggle, but I make it, so not too bad, I do make it. Um, okay, and then I go ahead and we do the, we do the first test here, okay, then I have to Take it all back apart, put the new valve in, the, the one that we would order, okay, with our print the way that we want it, with the lengths of the angles, the angle themselves, okay, and then put it back in and run the test. So I don't want to bore you with all the in-between stuff or this video would be way too long and way too boring. So, so let's go right into the test and look at the test results, okay. So we have the, the MBE valve, and let's just call this the shelf valve. Okay. All right. Let's just go at 200 lift. Okay, so this is the MBE big nine. So with, with valve, I mean, with, yeah, with valve loft, you know, with the lifter lofting and everything, if you run one inch lift, you're probably going to see almost inch 100 lift. So let's just, let's just start here. But let's go at 200 lift. It's 20 CFM between these two valves. Okay, and we can just keep going. 42. Okay, all right, the piston's just starting to get moving here, pulling the charge in. 47 CFM. Okay, 38, 49 CFM and so on. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. 45, 40. Okay, you know, as we get up, you'll see it. It'll, it'll start to catch up a little bit because the valve gets out of the way a little bit. But still, surprisingly, even when you get to the higher lifts, it still makes a significant difference. I mean, we're almost 20 CFM difference here at one inch. So the angles are still important, even though the valves open up an inch and you would think it would be out of the way when you come up to here. So you go run these two on the dyno. This valve is probably going to make about 70 foot-pounds less torque, let's say in a 632, something like that. It's going to be down over 100 in horsepower. And it's not going to accelerate. It's not going to get out of its own way. All because the, the end user did not think it was important that, that there's a lot of time that goes into putting these angles on the valve. Now, we have tested this and the lengths of these angles and went in degree increments and just change this, change this one degree, go back this, cha change the length of this, change the length of that, okay? These sharp angles are important. Um, if you look on anything, it, it, helps, it helps generate more flow. The air will move, the, the move quicker around the valve. So as it, as it opens, we have to make sure that this angle is proper so this is a 10 degree right here. I'm not going to tell you what the back angles are or the lengths. Somebody else can test that and put the thousands of hours that we have in it. Okay. 
But as the valve opens, you know, we still want to keep the air attached to the valve also as much as we can, and that's why these flow numbers go up, because this valve creates turbulence, especially down low. It's horrific. Okay, so now you've seen the results. You know, we're talking as much as like on a 632, this could be as much as 60 foot pounds of torque, 100 horsepower, all because the valve was not designed correctly. And we spend thousands of hours on this to assure that we don't have these issues here at MBE. So it's not a shelf valve. There's a reason why we put those angles on the valve. And it's anywhere from the cross-sectional area that's important. Um, to the length of the angle, to the angle itself. You know, we have done so much testing, just changing these one degree and then putting it back on there and then changing the length of that one degree. You know, but we still have to take in consideration the cross section of the valve for strength and the weight of the valve. So there's so much that goes into doing this correctly. So just, so please people, just let us order your valves. Don't save 80 bucks, it's okay. We'll make sure we, we, we take care of you. So I hope that uh, is a great explanation on why you back cut your valves with the proper back angles. And thank you for joining us here at MBE. Thank you.